Today I've got a Google Pixel 2 with an image problem, and we see this quite often on the Galaxy series as well. I'm pretty sure I know what is causing this. So if you take a look at the image here, you turn on the phone and all you see is what looks like static on the screen. And this, uh, there are a number of things that can cause this, but again, I kind of had a hunch on this one. We're gonna open it up and take a look at the inside. This was after a screen repair, so again, pretty common on the Galaxies. Uh, older versions and this one because we have some pride damage here as you can see on the motherboard one of these uh, data chokes I guess for a lack of better term this is what they're being called it's sort of a filter that keeps certain frequencies off of the uh, line where information is transmitted to generate an image on the screen so with this missing you're going to have some problems now I did not have another pixel 2 on hand I thought that I did but could not find it however I did have a G5 and fortunately, you know, since we don't have schematics for a lot of these phones, sometimes we have to guess on parts, and I really don't like to do that. However, in this situation, a lot of the times you can get away with uh, using something that's close enough because these things don't happen to be too picky as far as the specifications go. So being that I had a similar model from the same manufacturer, and it looked about the same. We're gonna see if we can just substitute in one from a different model. So of course, first thing we do here is just clean this up, get some fresh solder on the board, and then I will go and grab my donor and find something that looks pretty close to this one. As you can see here, we have several in a row, just like we do on the other phone, and these are right next to the display connector. You can actually see how they set in place, and they should have continuity, uh, I wanna say width-wise, not length-wise, so from left to right here, if you check them, they should beep across, and we're just gonna go ahead and heat this up and pull one of these off. And I noticed after I reviewed the video here, I'm actually moving the hot air around out of habit. With a nozzle this size and a component as small as this, we don't really need to do that. But I'm just kind of in the habit of trying to get the entire area on the board warmed up. So, yeah, old habits die hard. So on this one, I had to come in a little higher than normal. I believe I have my temperature set at about 450. Airflow is 30 liters per minute, and I've got an eight millimeter nozzle. Again, uh, probably a little bigger than it needs to be for this job, but it will work. All right, so we'll pull this guy off, and then we can take it over and do the transplant. Now, I like to put a little flux on my tweezers when I'm picking up small components like this because it helps to prevent them from dropping or flying away. All right, so this will be the fun part, just getting this thing situated. Make sure you have the correct orientation, of course, or you're not going to uh, have the result that you hoped for. Now the good news is here, worst case scenario, we'll probably just see some noise on the line and then we'd have to find a um, another Pixel 2 basically to pull the part from, but this should work out okay. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this around so I can um, work a little easier. I had a funny orientation there on the board. So we'll just heat this up until it kind of drops into place. And you'll see that even though the solder is melted, you can still kind of shift it around and it doesn't really snap into place like some components do. So you got to use your judgment and take a close look, make sure everything is connected. And then, of course, you can always use your multimeter to check it afterwards. All right, that looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and clean up this flux. All right, so I've got the board back in the phone, hit the power button, and of course the battery's dead. So we need to plug this in and hope for the best. 
So we have a charging icon. Now, of course, we do want to let the phone charge up, turn it on, and then make sure that the display is functioning properly. So we'll go ahead and leave this here for a few minutes and come back to it once it powers up. All right, so we've got this thing sufficiently charged. Go ahead and hit the power button. And unfortunately, the wallpaper on this phone is a picture of a family. So I'm going to have to do a quick edit here uh, so that we can keep that off of the screen for the protection of their privacy. All right, so we've got the phone powered up and I'm just kind of going through here looking at the icons and we'll go ahead and test the brightness. The camera's going to make this look funny. It did look okay in person, but of course when you try to record this thing turned all the way up, <clears throat> it's going to just about blind you here. But everything seems to be working normally, so we are good to go. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe for more in the future, and have a great one.